Okay, podcast weekly time. I have two thrilling announcements. Uh, first, I want to go over again the format of the podcast weekly. It used to have the point. I yanked it and made the point its own podcast. Why, why make double, right? Okay. A lot of things are clicking for me in my life right now, uh, especially last week. They sort of clicking a little bit less, but other things are, I'm in a, I'm in a clicky, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a clicky click right now. Hold on. I need some, I need something to drink. Mm. Oh, ah, that was, that was splendid. <clears throat> Pardon my French. So the way this weekly podcast works, I get done with mad media Monday, I call it. And I've been reviewing the articles from the week, uh, depending on how much research I was able to do over the last week and how much I had to do today. And I'm writing the editorials for Pacific Daily Times Symphony, the Encore and the Cadence. And then I've got to write the point. I, I write, I sit down and I pound it out and that's a creative process. So if I haven't eaten any nuts, it can take 20 minutes to write 100 words. But if, I, if I've had my nuts and my essential oils, then I can probably pound out 100 words in about a minute. Well, Okay. All right. Maybe two minutes. Okay. Just you know, a hundred words a minute. I, I type about 80 words a minute. Um, well, I, I should, I mean, I wrote the writing, the, the, the typing software, 88, 88. Okay. So g getting on to this, um, I've got some great announcements and I've got, and you know, typically in the last few weeks, I've had a hard time getting to what I wanted to get to because I cut out the point. So I couldn't get to the point. So now what am I going to get to? Well, last week I wasn't, last two weeks I wasn't able to get to what I wanted to get to. But I'm going to get to it by starting it right now. Because I'm going to get to this. I'm going to get to it. You know, be, before I make my two grand announcements, I want to say this. Because I, I, I've got it here on the, on the computer. You want to see the computer. You want to see what it, okay, fine. I'll, I'm going to take the little cam down and I'm going to show you what the computer looks like. There, there, there's the screen. There's the screen I'm looking at, my, my WordPress. Right there it is. There, there, there it is. Okay, now, so that was, oh, we got to get everything all set up again. Beautiful. Is that, is that, is that right and beautiful? Okay, turn, turning you appropriately. Do, 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 readjusting said camera. We've got a little tiny. No, we got this little black thing over at the side. I want to go. All right, here we go. Okay. So, now, if you haven't figured this out, uh, up in the upper corner, Orange Podcast Weekly. That's just so that you know which podcast you're watching, if you're watching on YouTube. Because I've got, I've, I've got this. Well, I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that announcement, hopefully. But I wanted to say this. Uh... Trump got blasted uh, for being on the green uh, rather than uh, saying nice words uh, about the Florida shooting. Now, liberals are always mad that how someone got killed. How dare Republicans not become liberals? That's what it comes down to. So we're sick of that. But he didn't say anything about it. I think I know why. See, that there was a rule... Robert's Rules of Order always appear dumber than... Your, not Robert's Rules of Order. Um, 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Another... You know, we we're talking... Ray Green today. Trump was out on the Greens and then came in and started tweeting about an article he didn't like. And that was it. And, and Robert Greene is talking about the rule. I think Trump's filing always appear dumber than your mark. I think Trump's trying to appear incompetent. I think he's trying to, for some reason. I'm not going to say all of why I think, because I don't want to spoil it. But I think he's up to something. He knows that when there's a shooting, the president's supposed to go out and say kind words to the family. He's, he's been very good at that. And all of a sudden, he doesn't? Mm -hmm. Ivanka did, and he didn't do it without him knowing... Something's going on. But she tweeted about it, and then they're mad that she's not liberal because they want her to do something, which means act like a liberal. Well, I, I want to say this. I, I mean, I don't like seeing people dead. And I'm, if, if you're connected to that, I'm, uh, I, I'm with you. We've, most of us have gone through loss, including myself. 
I want to add my own angle to to the topic because this was this was written down before I saw the news about this. I was going to talk about this. In fact, for the first time, uh, my buddy Noah, who should be listening to this, but probably isn't, which is fine. I, my good buddy Noah, uh, who helps with Jesse Young T, AaronYoung.com, Y-O-N-G-E, AaronYoung.com. Great cutting boards, by the way. No, I don't get paid for, for that. But anyhow, Noah said, Jesse, you've got to watch Jordan Peterson. You wrote this 365, this Watch Stand Pray 365 devotional thing for, for Jordan enthusiasts. He inspired you to write it, but you never watched him because you didn't, I, well, I, he was talking to me. I didn't want to get influenced by him. I wanted to have fully original ideas as I was writing that devotional. And I finally watched him. And he's talking about uh, the, the chemicals of crabs fighting each other in their hierarchical pecking order to, or crab pinching order, I suppose that it should be called. Um, pecking orders for chickens, but in, in the crab, uh, the pinching order, uh, when the crab loses, he, his chemicals go down, he feels sad. And if you give him basically antidepressants, then he goes back and keeps fighting. So there's a chemical thing that happens in crabs. And I was reviewing earlier this week, something came up. Cell phone addiction is a chemical addiction. There, when, when, um, when, the, when the phone rings and a teenager darts at warp speed across the living room to answer the phone. Uh, that happened before cell phones anyway. And in the old, the old guys, you know, the 40 year old parents are sitting there going, sure. I'm glad I have a teenager. I hope that phone isn't for me. I don't want to talk to my best friend now. I'm tired. I mean, that's parents. So the teenager is darting across the room to answer the phone. Cause he, she, they're all excited about the prospect of attention from friends. And when the phone rings and the, the, just the potential of a friend proving friendliness reaches out, they get a chemical rush in their brain. So something, endorphin, serotonin, some, something, adrenaline, so, something goes off and they get a chemical rush. Like people get addicted to skydiving. You can get addicted to their own adrenaline. Need for speed. But there's an attention, friendship, validation chemical rush. And cell phone... Gives that all the time. Every Facebook notice, every bing on the thing, every it, it's a chemical addiction. And if you take it away from them, they start going through DTs. It's not just irresponsibility. It's chemical addictions. Why wise parents won't let their younger children have phones. And uh, anyone should try to limit their time with that kind of stuff. Now, there's, there's a whole lot more that could be said about escapism and then the need for chemical addiction. And you, you uh, see yourself getting addicted to it. You don't like it. Other people don't. They've got maybe a, a, a mental problem or Alcoholics Anonymous would say alcoholism is a spiritual disease. But chemical addiction. Now, let's talk about crabs, pecking order. Give the crab antidepressants and he'll go back and fight the crabs again. He loses. He has this huge chemical letdown and goes into depression and, 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 and his shoulders shrug, so to speak. Jordan Peterson, thank you. In his research, he was studying someone else's. An addicted gamer loses. Just think about that. That's what's going on. The guy had sudden withdrawals. Chemical, you know, just think about the chemical thing going on. The gaming, he's addicted to seeing the winning and it's this chemical shock that smashes into him. We're wondering what's wrong with society. We need to encourage people to be real and not to be addicted and to go out into real life. And that's a Christian responsibility, which is why I wrote Watch, Stand, Pray. Now, the big announcements that I have. Uh, I've got two new books out. Phonics. And in these, uh, with Pink Right. Books.jessiesteel.com. Already in the Amazon store, the one that teaches phonics. And the one that practices it. And the second thing that I'm excited about is the Taiwan special. I'm officially announcing it now. I, I've been running a few episodes this week. I'm thinking it's going to be a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, the, the Taiwan special, the way, the, way, the way Taiwan special works. The Taiwan special is not from Taiwan. It's from an American who lived a decade in Taiwan. Namely, me. Yours truly. Taiwan special. I, I'm hoping for 10 minutes, but it's going to be a little bit more freeform. And, you know, th this, this podcast weekly is about updates after I get done with Mad Media Monday and what I'm doing and just some random thing I want to talk about. The Taiwan special is going to be, you know, from, from the American in Taiwan. It has something to say about that. 